Hi, my love. So here we are in Amsterdam, Woo! my home. I want to thank you all for coming. I know we have a lot of uh, healing to do because uh, we've all been victims of this uh, Reddit, whatchamacallit, uh, chat room, you know, Wall Street, uh, Betsa Machowski, whatever. Betsa Machowski, whatever. But hopefully we can put losses behind us, enjoy a great dinner, mm -hmm. and the beauty of Amsterdam. Hey. Hey. Well, I'd like to start off by saying thank you, Yolanda, and for all of you making the journey here. As the CEO of Citadel, I'm excited to be here with you all. But I'll just cut to the chase and say that my firm and clients have just learned so much from this crazy rally, or short squeeze as we see it, in the likes of GameStop and AMC. We've had to let go some of our top traders and quants as a result of our losses. <laughs> so it's had a huge impact on my firm's reputation. <sighs> and if I'm emotional, it's, it's only because it's personal to me. <laughs> I know what it's like to lose so much money and be hated by the public due to short selling. So, <sighs> Kim, I, I never meant to to mess with your business. I I only meant to meant, well, well to yeah mess with your business. Yes, yeah. you have, and we've discussed that. I've only meant to help. Oh. Ken, for the last time, I have had a short position on a long-term short position in GameStop for three years, and Kyle. My sister and my friends and my family have not once seen me short another share of a meme stock in three years. But I've saw you short it. <sighs> I confided in you that I was short a little bit of borrow and I took it down because I saw the stock start to squeeze that day and I didn't think it would go any further. Yeah. Let me finish. If my sister and my friends and my family, and you too, had seen me short a more than a material amount of GameStop in three years, my sister, my friends, my family, they would have come to me and said they were concerned. You have gone around to every hedge fund and Robin Hood and, and customer with a Robin Hood trading account. How do you know that I've gone and to every hedge fund? Don't point your finger at me, Kim. You know I've gone to every hedge fund. Asking, do I know how many shares of GameStop I'm short? Uh. Kyle! Do I have a handle on the amount of risk I'm taking? Do I have a stop loss in place? But I've asked you. You asked me if I was okay and I told you I am fine. I've asked you if you've cut your some kind of GameStop risk. I was concerned. I, I, I told you on the plane, I am fine. I'm concerned Can about you. we care about you? Really? Well, I'm concerned about you. Kim, and this is supposed to be a nice dinner that Yolanda put together. Excuse me. I'm concerned about you and your situation at Citadel. You want to bring out my stuff? Let's talk about the, the dodgy traders that you have working for you at your hedge fund or, uh, or the flows that you see at the... Robin Hood trading, all those flows of you, could you clear those trades? Kim, excuse me, I'm not talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. And I'm talking to you. Excuse me. Shut your goddamn mouth, I've had enough of you, you beast. Beast? How dare you? How dare me? 
You came onto my trading floor. And I apologize. And in three years? Actually, you didn't. Actually, you didn't. I don't like you. Guess what? I don't particularly like you either. In fact, I can't find one goddamn thing to like about you right now at this moment. Well, good. I never found anything to like about you from that ridiculous bull haircut to your <sighs> dodgy little trading platform to your face. I did nothing to you. I don't know where all this hatred is coming from. It's pure evil. Kim, what is wrong with you? Kyle, shush up. You should have said right from the beginning I haven't shorted anything in three years. I mean, mean stop. I, I asked, I talked to Ken on the plane, and you're like, Whoa, I did tell him that. What the hell is that? You want me to defend you? How can I defend you when you're acting like this? I don't need you to defend me because you never have. Yes, I have, Kim. Kim, she does defend you, Kim. Kyle does defend you. She defends me more than you do. <sighs> Kathy would have my back like a real sister. You've been doing this to me for years. Oh. I did tell him that. What the hell is that? Kim, it's just not okay to talk to anybody like that. Oh, really? Where'd you have another pile of that Guinness? Make him calm down. <sighs> Shame on you. You're disgusting, Kim. Can I interfere one second? Go right ahead. Kim, I understand your sensitivity. Because you worked so hard not shorting GameStop or AMC for three years. But Ken lost tons of money on short positions. Yes, and understand because his hedge fund also short GameStop. And thought he was short more during the squeeze. Ha! Huh. Let's talk so, about the hedge fund. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you let's, just say let's talk about the hedge fund? Let's line? not. Let's not talk yeah. about what you don't yeah. want out there. You know what? You are a Let me scary, tell you something. vicious human being. Don't you ever. Don't just you saying. Don't you ever go through my hedge fund. Just saying. Don't you ever. Don't you ever go through my hedge fund! <laughs> What you don't want out for everyone to know, you better watch what you talk about me or everyone will know. Ever! Go through my head foot! Ever! Go through my head foot! Is that Kyle? I know what you don't want out! Don't you fucking go through my head foot. Ever! Go through my head foot! Ever! Go through my head foot! Ever! Go through my head foot! What does Kim Richards know? What does she know about Citadel? What did we do? She doesn't even know my trade. It's all gone too far, Kim. Way too far. I'm sorry. The Ken Griffey can't lie about me, Kyle, or I'll say something about his hedge fund that is true. Oh, go on, go run after your new hedge fund manager, Kyle. Kim, how can I defend you? You're not defendable! He lies about me? Or I said I was going to tell the truth about his crummy little fund! Cam, what just happened? This is not the way to communicate. Where's my partner?